Tire Strip is getting more and more popular. I mean, Dino 2 just came out and it looks super awesome. So you need to get better at your types and we need to use interfaces to structure our data within our projects. And as the data or the interfaces grow, it can get quite painful. I mean, like take for example, if we want to query GitHub's API and we want to use that data within our project, then uh, that's quite a big interface. Please don't use any and say, ah, fix it later, because later it never happens. I mean, let me show you. Let's do a curl to GitHub's API. And we will go to repos and we will go to one of the Eddie Hub projects and we'll say health check. We make that request. And you can see this is a lot of kind of interfaces we would have to create, and multiple ones as well. What happens if there was a way that we get this generator for us. And, and there is. There is the library QuickType, which I came across. And it is actually really, really awesome. It does even more than what I would think and expect. So if you install it, I've done that already, and then um, we can actually save the curl data to a file, save that JSON. So I'm gonna now save that to repo JSON, just in the root of our project, so we can just see that that looks okay. Here we go, it's the same data that I showed you earlier. This is GitHub's uh, public information for the repo, but I wanna model this within my, my project with an interface. What we can do now is run the quick type command to convert this uh, JSON to a TypeScript interface. So what we can do is specify the source, it's gonna be JSON, and we want the output to um, be in the same directory that we're in, repo.ts. You can obviously put the path in there to your source directory, which is where it would probably go in your project. We're gonna say the language is TypeScript, uh, and what we want to uh, convert from is the JSON that we just uh, downloaded. So if we run that, it will create a, a repo.ts file. Ignore this uh, warning, this is just my, my environment that I need to fix. So if we open the repo, now we've got two, you can see the JSON that we downloaded and we've got TS. You can see it has got the interface there that we were looking at. So that looks really, really familiar. You can see how long that is and we have to create that ourselves could be very time consuming. But also you'll notice there are also nested objects, which is awesome. And it's actually separated the interfaces out for us. And I recommend moving those to separate files so we could actually reuse those as well in other places. And actually given us helper functions as well um, to do various conversions and data manipulation. I actually delete these. I haven't actually used these yet, but I think it is something that I will use shortly. So let me know in the comments below how you create your TypeScript interfaces. Please don't say any. But be honest and let me know if you do put the any type in and say I'll fix it later. Let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. It really helps support the channel and I'll see you in the next video.